go. Greetings, everyone. I'm Zach. And I'm Oscar. And I'm Nick. And we are here with a special look at the first ever look of Yellow Jacket from the upcoming Ant-Man movie. And yeah, we are. Yeah, looks looks pretty cool. It's like some anime yeah, definitely. toy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it kind of does. I mean... I mean, my first reaction was that it looked something like out of Halo, but then I took a closer look like, yeah, this is definitely a Marvel thing. Yeah, he looks a lot more bug-like than Scott Lang. Yeah, and from what what you told me before we recorded this, he was the look of his like suit itself was kind of pulled off from another Ant-Man that's not Scott Lang or Henry Pym. It was, uh, who Eric was it again? Verity. Okay, that, that, yeah, that, that guy. Yeah, the irredeemable Ant-Man. Yeah, and that's probably going to be Darren Cross's game. Yeah, I mean, as I said, his suit is a mixture between that Eric O'Garrity look and he has the yellow jacket colors on his suit. Yeah, he definitely has the colors. I'm actually curious as to what those uh, legs on the back of his suit are. I mean, you, you said they were rocket boosters at one point, or... Something like that. I'm not sure how they work. I mean, y'all probably have to wait until the movie to see what they are. Yeah, it says... Uh, oh, go ahead. You. Uh, you can no, it's, uh, it says here in the quote that Corey stole the actor playing Yellow Jacket, I think. He said that it, the suit can do everything that Ant-Man can do, but more. It's more of like a military version of it. Yeah, I could definitely see... Yeah, from what I've heard about Darren Cross, he is sort of like a more like a... Uh, may I would say Justin Hammer kind of character, but I'm not going to go into that because I don't really know much about Darren Cross. So I'm not going to make assumptions about a character I don't really know that much of. Well, more like Obadiah Stane in this case. Yeah, that's a better comparison. Yeah, I can definitely see him trying to market off the Ant-Man suit as to sort of a military-styled weapon. Yeah, don't know how effective it would be, but... <laughs> Yeah, you could grow really tiny and then just uh, drop, like, a bomb or something, and boom, instant black ops. Yeah, where the soldiers could step on you. But I don't know if Pam has found the formula for the growing serum in this movie. Yeah, so basically from all our speculation about what this picture is and... Ah, crap, I'll take that again. I'm not, I'm not, good, I'm not good at finishing this off. Oscar, you want to take it? Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, but, but, but all in all, in the end, it's just our speculations. We don't really know much about it, uh, or about his suit, really, but it looks really, really cool. Yeah, really cool. It's getting me more hype for this movie, because my hype levels are, like, pretty low. <laughs> yes, with all these Marvel movies coming up, we have so much hype that we can't hype anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the hype train is on overload. <laughs> You're overselling it a bit. Yeah. Going <laughs> off the rails on a crazy hype train. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, comment below what you guys think about this picture. Do you like it? Do you not like it? And what are you hoping to see from Yellow Jacket in the upcoming Ant-Man movie? Him pimp-slapping Hope uh, Pim? <laughs> yeah, probably just, like, just an hour and a half of, like, uh, Yellow Jacket just pimp-slapping Ant-Man. <laughs> you ain't Yellow Jacket until you bitch-slap somebody. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, with all that said, I'm Zach. And I'm Oscar. And I'm Nick. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Later.